Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I have another um, project for Lenny Stamp Gang. Oh, this was so much fun, you guys. I loved it. I left the back so you could kind of see this was great nuts. So it's just kind of a little box. I learned all of this and how to do it and everything from Tim Coffee. I will put a link in the description. He has a three part video series teaching how to do this. And his is so cool. You guys have to look at it. Okay, so um, what you do, you get a cereal box, um, <clears throat> you poke your holes in it, and then you paint it with a gesso. You completely cover the box. Then, let me see what I do next. Then I um, stamped some images on some cardstock, and these are what I used. I used this Martha Stewart set, and I used this flower, this flower, and this flower. And they're right here. Big one. That smaller one there. And then this smaller one on the corner here. And then I used this set for this bird is right here. This bird is right here. It's hanging over the edge. And then um, that's off all of that one. And then my one of my favorite all-time stamp sets that I've used more than any of my stamp sets. Um, it's an Inka Dinka Do, I forget what it's called, but I use this butterfly right here. It's going over the edge, and then I use this hummingbird, and that is right here. Okay, so then I added those images, and I took my hot glue gun. And I outlined the images. That is tough, you guys. It is not like drawing. I can draw a line. I can trace something. But with a glue gun, that's tough. That guy is amazing. Tim Coffey, if you're watching this, you are amazing and I love you. <laughs> okay? Um, <clears throat> so then you outline everything. And um, I didn't outline, you know, exactly everything. But I got details here and there that I thought were good enough. Like the flower here, I got some in the center, and then the butterfly. You know, I did pretty good. I didn't do too bad. And this butterfly up here, I got the swirls and the little dots. Um, and then I added some uh, of the bling that has that little, like, crocheted lace. I added one of these blings. It's like the dollar blings. There's like three strips. And then I added some of these recollection uh, plastic roses and you can see where those are here here so after I added all of that I went over it with white acrylic paint and then I went over it with this um, brown uh, it's just real brown is what it's called and I covered all the way around and then I went over it with my crackle medium Folk art. This is the best one. I do not like the Del Dem Kremco whatever. I do not like that one. It does not work for me. Then I went over it with the white acrylic paint. Now, I'll see if you can see the crackle. There's crackle. It even crackled inside the image. I was so happy. Right here in this bird on the sides. Okay, so after I did the crackle technique all around it, I did it in sections. I did the front, and then I did the um, side, each side at a time. Here's the top of the cereal box, you can see. And then on that side and the bottom. Okay, so then after I did that, then I took these beautiful magical micas and micas, and I painted this bird with the bachelor button blue. And I also painted the top of this butterfly with it. And then I used Peony Scarlet Red right here. And these colors are much richer. I really had to tone these down. I had to go over them with a whitewash just to tone them down because they were a little too bright for what I was looking for. I did um, the, the Peony Scarlet Red on that flower. And then I did uh, Gravitation Grape Blue on the bottom part of this butterfly and this hummingbird and then on this uh, bird I used maiden hair fern green and I also used this on this bottom flower here 
And then after that, I, I liked the shimmer, but the, the colors were so bright that I had to go over it with a whitewash. And I was kind of worried about the crackle disappearing, and it didn't. So that was awesome. So after I got all that done, then I took Gold Leaf Rub and Buff. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Then I sprayed the entire thing with Land Lubber Green. Love, love, love this. Um, let me see if I can show you this shimmer. Oh, it's just... Oh. And see the white... Let's see, let's get a corner. Right here, if you can see how bright white that is, that's how bright the whole thing was. And look at how gorgeous and aged this looks, but shimmered because of the moon shadow. It's perfect. Then I took the gold leaf on my fingertip, you can still see it on there, and I just went over the raised edges, just like that. Now this is going to go in my gazebo in my backyard, so um, my next step is going to be this varnish. I'm going to go over it with this varnish, over the entire thing, seal it, and then I'm going to hang this up in my gazebo, and later on I will take a picture of it in my gazebo. Right now I can't because it's nighttime. So I hope you guys like my project and try it and head on over to Tim's channel. Check out his um, video. You guys will become addicted too and love this as well. I just know it. Um, and I'll put a link in the description for Lindy Stamp Gang. Remember the new set that's out. Um, Drink Me Silly set. Beautiful colors. They're going to go with uh, Graphic 45 paper sets like Les Romantique, um, the Baby Bride one, the... Once Upon a Springtime. It's it's a beautiful set. You'll love it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.